Hello viewers and welcome back to yet another great video on our HTML Flash course. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about HTML tags and we have so many tags in HTML and today we are going to consider the tags that are used frequently in web design. And to begin, in my previous tutorial, I explained what tags are. If you don't understand what the tag is, you can watch my previous video because I'm going to leave a link in the description below. When we talk of HTML tags, we have a whole lot of HTML tags. But before we complete this tutorial, I'm going to give you the, the most or the frequent use HTML tags. So to start, we are going to talk about an HTML tag for head. And when we talk of a header, a header is like a heading of a page. So when we talk of a header, we are considering the heading of a page. For example, if you're writing a, a story, you can even say that the name of the story or the title of the story can be your header. And you know, you have your main header or your main topic. You can even have your subtopics under it. So we are going to consider header in HTML. When we talk of header in HTML, in HTML, we have uh, six different headers. So we have six different headers in HTML. And header is represented by H1. So when you are talking of header, H1 has our header. So let me type inside the tag as. So let me see, I have my header one. So when I save this, and remember that in our previous tutorial, we save the document on our desktop. So, in our previous tutorial, what we did is that we opened this folder called Tutorials HTML and we created a folder index.html. So, I'm going to open that. So, when I open that, you see that I have my header one. So now you see that I have my header one. This is the header one. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm just going to copy this. So what I'm just doing is that I'm just pasting it five more times. So I'm going to change the tags header 1 to header 2, header 3, header 4, header 5 to header 6. So I can also change this one to two. So now what I've done is that I've changed the tax. So as I said, we have uh, six different uh, headers in HTML. So we have header one, header two, header three, header four, header five, and header six. So I'll just save my document. And when I come to my web page and refresh the page, you see that we have our header one, our header two, our header three, our header four, our header five, and our header six. So you see that header one is the biggest Growing by header 2 and header 6 is the smallest. So, so let's assume that the header 1 can be your main topic. And you can use 
header to header three and that order for your subtops. Okay. We are also going to talk about another tag in HTML core paragraph. For example, if I'm writing this, if I type this, for example, if I type this, HTML is easy to learn. And after this, I let's see, let's see, I want a paragraph. So I'll just, in Microsoft Word, we will just press enter, press it one time or two times there for your paragraph. So I just want a paragraph, so I'll just press the enter. So after that, let's see that I'll type. So I'll type, you just need a text editor and a web browser. So I want this one to be a paragraph. So if I save this and come to my web page and refresh, you see that HTML is easy to learn. You just need a text editor and a web browser is also there. Now, what this means is that when we were typing, we leave a space between it. But when I refresh my website, you see that there is no space between it. What it means is that HTML is white space insensitive. That means that no matter the amount of space that you leave, so if I play another enter and even save it, when I go to the website, there will be no space in between. It was HTML, as I said, is white space insensitive. So to have your paragraph, we have a special tag for it, and it is called a paragraph, which is represented by the P tag. So I'll just, what you have to do is wrap around with your P tag. So you can also do the same thing here. Now, when I save this and go to my website and refresh, you see that I have the paragraph. HTML is easy to learn. You just need a text editor and a web browser. There is also another tag in HTML that we are going to talk about. So for example, let's say that between this, I want to type a sentence on the next line. So after HTML is easy to learn, I want to type on the next line and say, So if I, I just want this one to be at the next line, HTML is difficult to master. So we have a special tag for that. And that tag is called the break tag. And the reason why we did not close this one is that in HTML, we have a self-closing tag. And this one is an example of a self-closing tag. And as we move along, we are going to talk more about self-closing that and you'll be familiar with them. Break is a self-closing that. So now when we have this, we should push our sentence, HTML is difficult to master to the next line. So when we save this, go to our website and refresh, you see that we have HTML is difficult to master on the next line. That's what the um, break tag is useful. We also have another tag in HTML called, which is used to bold our test. So, for example, if we want to bold our HTML here, we just have to surround it with the bold tag and it's represented by B. So now, we just write our B tag. We will just surround it with the bold tag. So I'll just, you just don't forget to close it. So when you close it and save it, you go to your website and when we refresh you see that so you have your html being bold that is what our bold tag is used for and use b to represent our bold tag there is also yet 
another tag in HTML. That is used to make our test italic. So that is also called the emphasize. So for example, if you want to a test to be emphasized, so we use the EM, which stands for the emphasize. So we want this test to be emphasized. So now easy to learn. We want this easy to learn to be emphasized. So now when we go to our website and refresh you will see that we have HTML is easy to learn in italics. So to make your test italics, you just have to use the EM tag to make it italics. And I want to say that this is just an introduction to the tax. And as we move on, we are going to make use of this tax in each tutorial. You are going to master them. And what I want to also say is that you are going to know how to use them because we are going to use it throughout the course and you be familiar with this tag. There is also another tag in HTML that is also called horizontal rule. And when we talk of horizontal rule, let's assume that you want to draw a horizontal line in your website. So in your website, you want to draw a horizontal line in your website. Let's assume that after this, you just want to draw a line through the website to underline certain object or to do anything. We have a tag that we use and there is also another self closing tag which is also called the horizontal rule represented by HR. So it's a self closing tag. So you have to close it. When you save your file uh, and you go to your website and refresh the page, you see that we have a horizontal line across the website. And this is also called a horizontal rule. We also have another type in HTML, which is also called a strike. So we have another tag in HTML, which is called a strike. So let's assume that I have a test here. So I have a test here called strike through me. So we have a tag here. So we have our P tag and inside it we have strike. What is going to do is that it's going to cancel. It's going to draw a line through the test, like in the form of canceling it. So it's going to strike through the test. And when we save it and come to our website and refresh, you will see that sorry, we did not save it. So now when we save it here and come to our website and refresh. You see that we have a line to strike through me. And what this thing can be used is that when you go, let us know that you have an e commerce website and you have given a discount. So let's say previously you were selling your product for maybe 10,000 and now you've reduced it to 8,000. See that you can strike through the 10,000, which is the old plus, price, and show the new price, which is 8,000. Okay, we also have another type in HTML that we are going to also consider, and it is also called a quotation. So you can quote somebody, it's also called a quotation tag. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my P tag, and inside this P tag. I just want to see this. The WHO So now 
we are going to quote the WHO, which is the World Health Organization. So the World Health Organization's aim is to, so you can see, maybe we are quoting, so we can quote them, and let's say their aim here is to combat malaria for 2020. So let's say they have the aim to combat malaria before 2020. So now, when we save this and go to our website and refresh, you see that we have the, the World Health Organization's aim is to combat malaria before 2020. So we are quoting the World Health Organization here. We can also talk about another tag, HTML tag which will automatically send the sentence to the center. So for example, this tag, I can also wrap around with the tag called center. So I can just close this, come here, and close my center tag. So when I save this now, when I come to my web page and refresh, you see that I have the I have the World Health Organization scheme is to combat malaria 2020 at the center. At the center. There are also more tags in HTML. But what I'm going to do now is that I don't want to record a long video. So I just want to use the little that we've learned today to design a complete HTML without any inline styling, any colors, simple website, so that in the next tutorial you will consider um, other HTML tags. So we are going to design, we are going to use this one to design a simple website. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the each one tag so then place my h1 and i'm going to write here my web page and now what i'm going to also do again is that i'm going to surround it with the center tag so that the test will be at the center. Don't forget to close your tag so that it will be at the center. So after that, what I also want to do is that I also want to, you know, draw a horizontal rule. So well, this one is going to be there. Header. I'm going to draw a horizontal rule through that, and after that, inside the body, we are going to describe our website. So we can also see about us, which is going to be maybe header two. So let me write about me. So now we are going to use our tag. So inside our tag, we can just write any sentence of our choice. So let's write this is yes, a good to type. Beginners, 
and I want the next information to be on the next line. So I'm going to use my big tag, which is also self pushing. So what we are going to do is I want to write that I want we will design more complicated websites very soon to be on the next line. So I'll say we will design more so now we have this and what I'm going to also do is that I want the complicated here to be put so I'll just close my tag with the good tag sorry which is the B tag and what I want to do is that I want the prototype here to be italics so to do that I'll just use my EM tag have my em tag i'll just use my em tag so i have it here now what i'm going to also do is that we can also use quotation so we are going to use quotation what are we going to put We are going to say that accord Aristotle. So we are going to leave a paragraph. So inside this paragraph, I'm going to just put Aristotle. So let's write here and say maybe Aristotle says. So we are going to quote Aristotle. So to leave And animal. So I have something like this. So this is a simple web page that we are designing. So we have quotes we've quoted um, Aristotle. That has to leave alone. One must be an animal. So when we save this that we have, you will see that we have our header one, which is talking about our web page. So you can choose to use. We have these headers. You can choose to use the type of header that you want to use. Here I use the header one and we draw a horizontal rule under it, which is using our HR tag. We also have our header two, which is talking about us, and we also have our paragraph explaining. We have our prototype in italics. So, what I will do is that I will just save it, come to my website, and when I refresh, you see that we have a simple website here. What you say in my web page, we have our horizontal rule here about me this is just a prototype of page for beginners and we have all of this here now we also have a rest to tell being quoted so now we've talked about the some tags that are frequently used in the TL. thank you very much for watching this tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video goodbye